I'm back with our favorite series where I sort Reddit subs by controversial, but only rep tile related ones we did corn snakes we did leopard geckos i was thoroughly disappointed a lot of you hated the videos a lot of you loved them so now we're in our frogs which was highly recommended and i'm scared because this community disturbs me starting off pretty it's pretty simple pretty clean in fact because it's a salad bubble bath with someone's toad which is also not a frog in a bunch of soap which is probably i'm going to be surprised if the toad is still living to this day the thread was locked and also why would you put soap on your salad i just use water am i doing something wrong why would you soap it that's kind of gross but you have a toad in there anyway wait why are you soaping the salad and then putting your urine little toad in it in the first place yeah do you wash your vegetables with soap why would you wash your vegetables with soap sorry i'm already getting a little bit heated unnecessarily i apologize <laughs> All right, at first glance, this threw me off a bit, but I actually kind of like it. The forbidden mochi. <laughs> I'm not going to see mochi the same, but it's okay because I giggled at the post. Is this little guy a goner? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Justin's going to get to do some blurring in this episode. I think this is our first contestant for getting blurred. It says... South Florida was inside a caged fan when it turned on. Got him out around 8.30 a.m. Found him still alive around 1.30. Base of spine sticking out. Both back legs messed up and broken. He's not alive either today. I don't think. I'm absolutely in love with frogs and I found out about this awesome project. Say hello to Jeff. This is an NFT, isn't it? Yep, there's a link. Frognolia. Yep, it's on OpenSea. Yep, there's 10,000 of them. You think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs, huh? Property theft is a joke to you? Well, I have you know that the blockchain doesn't lie. I own it. Even if you save it, it's my property. You are mad that you don't own the art that I own. Delete that screenshot. I don't know why I memorized that. I mean, also, look, I have some experience scamming, not, not scam. <laughs> I didn't mean to say scamming, spamming Reddit to make money. If you want to look like a person that just found out about this awesome project, you have to be a little bit more convincing. Normally, you just want to be a customer of the product. You do not mention the product. You just post about the product. People will naturally ask about the product and then you sell them the product. Or nobody asks, you ask yourself about the product from a different okay i don't want to give away all my secrets but it does work it's a little bit harder to do now because more people do it but you can certainly spam reddit and make money this is not how and i'm guessing nobody has paid for your stupid little frogs let's find out recently sold i mean you can tell that they're auto-generated because look at look at the stuff that's a, a moldy cheese and uh, they've sold two <laughs> total for 0 0.002 ethereum which how much is that? It's only $6. Thank God they made $12. Wait, last price, $700. Why is this one listed for $2.1 million? Nobody's purchased it. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted. A frog funeral. A group of friends and I went to the park the other day. Everyone crowded around a cute little frog and they started taking pictures. A friend of mine, Josh, saw the frog, thought it was a demon and punted it. We had a funeral for it. Someone played the nutcracker on the harmonica. Vroom vroom. Okay, this one, do we blur this one? Do they get to see this? It's a dead frog on a motorcycle. Going in circles. I don't know if we spare them for this one. Wait, no, it's leg moved. It's only extremely crippled. Wait, I think that's worse. Is this normal? This would actually be convincing if you just remove that little bit, but nobody else liked it apparently. You know this was downvoted because everyone thought that it was an actual frog and then they realized it was photoshopped and then they were offended because they fell for it. That's how it works. How do I keep frogs? off my outside walls. Phobia. So this is a phobia, so please don't be insensitive. I'm already laughing. And tell me to get over it. That is not possible in a short period of time and forcing myself to just makes me hate them more. Problem. Frogs keep climbing on the walls and hang around the stairs I need to climb to get in my house. How do I get them to go away? There's a reason I'm laughing and it's not why you think. I'll tell you when I'm done reading this, okay? I can't go outside past seven and I can't walk past them because they hop around too much. It gets worse when they're super high up and I have the potential to fall on me. I per physically lose the ability to even breathe and unironically will start to cry if they do. <laughs> I don't, okay. I, un believe it or not, I understand exactly what they're describing because I have this exact experience with an animal. I'm not telling you what animal because you will torture me with it and I will legitimately delete my YouTube channel, but just know I can sympathize. But the fact that it's a frog is kind of funny. They said, I don't want them to die or anything. I want my species to die all the time. They're more sympathetic than I am. I'm a worse person than them. So I'm allowed to laugh. It, that's how it works, right? He poop.
Thank you, very cool. This is my little froggy, froggy friend. He committed frogicide by jumping off the balcony. And yeah, miss you, froggy. P.S. I named him Froggy. Oh no, I'm sorry for your loss. How high was the balcony? Did you see the body? Because if you didn't, I might still be alive. Frogs survive very high jumps. We found him dead. And thanks you. What frogs can climb walls to eat fruit flies? So I have a fruit fly infestation. No joke. To where now I am having allergy spots from their bacteria. They look like bug bites are itchy in these just won't leave me alone. I've cleaned out their possible breeding sites and the majority of the flies are almost at the ceiling. They know I can't reach them that height to sticky trap them. And they are all over my clean kitchen where vinegar traps are. I looked up that frogs can eat fruit flies and I always wanted to have a frog and name him Kermit. Kermit as a cute, Kermy, sorry, Kermy as a cute nickname named after the puppet, Muppets. What? Wait, why is this? I don't think this post is a joke. I read tree frogs are the thing, but there are other frogs that can climb walls and eat fruit flies? Help me frogs, you're my only hope. This is a terrible idea. Well, I would make sure to keep it in my sights at all possible, but I do see your point. It turns out I got bitten by something else and not the fruit flies. They said their kitchen is clean, but this has to just be a hoarder, right? Because they they got bit by an insect that they thought was a different species of insect in their home and they don't know which species was biting them. And now they're just gonna free roam a tree frog? Is my toad dead? Yes, it's just a picture of a dead toad. Do we show them this? I don't know. It's a dead toad if you need a description. What is, oh my God, what is in my cane? Why am I gagging? What is in, what is, <laughs> why am I gagging? What is in my cane toad's? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the dead frog picture so I can- It didn't look that different from things I've seen. I mean, I've had leopard geckos come in, they overeat because maybe they weren't fed or something and they regurgitate it all. It kind of just happens and it kind of looks like that. Why is this picture bothering me so much? I have something to say about this picture, but I can't get it out. So I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> My five-year-old African clawed frog with two axolotls. I'm not an expert in any of these, either of these species, but no comment. How about that? That's a good comment, right? Frog, I want him on my balls. Okay. Help, where can I buy a frog? Not for sexual reasons. I'm in the market for a frog, but don't know where or what kind of frog I want to get a frog from. What? I would like the frog, for non-sexual reasons, to be blue. Any information is helpful. And thanks in advance to the people who may help me on this journey of acquiring my dream pet. Frogo doggo. <laughs> I just want to know, okay, what would happen if you poked a hole in the extra chin skin on frogs? Like what would happen? Would it still blow up? Would it ever work again? Like would it heal? I believe it will be fine. If anything, there may be some damage to the pitch. I mean, it's just extra skin. Yes, it would heal. Why are you encouraging them? Is this frog related? I got a new passy today. It's a froggy, but I have little friends to share. I have no little friends to share. So please enjoy. Age regression. Age regression as a positive non-sexual coping strategy for alleviating stress, anxiety, daily pressures, and sometimes just for fun. We've gone too far, boys and girls. Poop. Thank you. The toad fly lays its eggs in an unusual place, toad nostrils. When its eggs hatch, the larvae feed on the toad of the face and body. Unfortunately, this leads to the toad's demise. Oh my God. Oh, I do, oh, I do not like, I don't like looking at this one very much. Okay, all right. <laughs> For, oh my God, oh no, <laughs> no, I, no, 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 mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Goodbye, that's the end of the episode. F you for making me look at these.